of bacon. That's a good one. Oh. That's a good one. Do that. You know, oh, yeah. I don't know if you can bait. Skunk is out of the boat. Howdy, howdy, folks. Old Dad and Chad out here on the weekly Tennessee River trip. Uh, we just got set up about 30 minutes ago caught one dink but uh we're in 38 foot of water it's 141 today it's actually nice and warm today not a whole lot of wind so maybe we'll get some monsters on we'll see fish number two The house? No. Whoa. I'm getting hit too over here. We might have missed you. Ten pounds maybe. Oh yeah. He's got him a good. Another good fun size catfish. Hell, this now, this is like a thing. Just a second ago, I just happened to turn around and look at the thing. Oh, yeah. Eyeball missing? No. Getting ready to be. Pretty, pretty healthy little old catfish. He gone. Skip Jack body section. Skip Jack body section. Shad. 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 That's what I caught mine on too. The shad body section. They're after them guts. All right. Started out pretty good. We ain't been here an hour and caught two. Maybe it's going to be a good old day. Heck yeah. Hey, like my hat. Took it down, did he? Yes, he did. Did it play around? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's grabbed away. He ain't going yeah, nowhere. About like a channel where he gets off, but it ain't going to matter. Oh, they're hooked good. <laughs> <laughs> Got my bait back. It's number three. Dang, it's just getting ready to move spots, too. Try to get in. Looks like he 
might be a step up from a dink. Well, he got that line. How the boat just swung around real hard for some reason. bigger. I think because we both stood on that side of the boat, it just swung big time. Yeah, we're hooking up good too. Look at that. Look at that bait. Same bait every time. That's four for shad, zero for the chicken, zero for the shell cracker. I mean, he put a bluegill on He quit biting it, come right out. Shad body piece. What is that, third? Four? Four. Four, four. No. Really got no mud on him. He gone. I'm gonna throw it right back out there. Seems to be the oh, hot bite. You never know. Got a side runner here. Fish number five. That's a good one. Better, best one we got today. Let him gas out. Get over here where I can see. Fish number five, and we're about. Hour and ten minutes. All five come on shad. And all five have come on shad. Pretty fish. Pretty fish. Oh yeah. Dang, what do you do? Do you leave? If you're sitting in one spot, <laughs> really in five dinks, we really want to move. But how do you move catching fish? Yeah, we've we've really not cut anything of size, but five in an hour. Five in an hour, it's hard to hard to pick up and leave. We was just talking about going to our big hole too. Maybe we'll sit here a little bit longer. <laughs> so dinky wasn't worth reeling in anyway. Defeat. He was taking it sideways though. It might have come off. I can't even tell with this new stick. He ain't come off. I thought I had him. Oh. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> we thought we had a bite on the chicken. He thought he had a hookup, but it got off. Chicken still zero. Today we've got sloppy joes on the old cook stove. Oh yeah, it might be good on a good cold winter day. Thanks to old Chad. He didn't bring the bait, but he brought the, the lunch. I think it's hot enough. Let's try it. There you go. As long as I don't have to run up the woods after you. Here we got the bucket the shit bucket on board. We're going to jump on the bank. <laughs> hey, do whatever you want, homie. I'm going to sit in that bucket. Yeah. Definitely gonna have to move out of this spot.
piping hot leftover chicken quesadillas. Oh yeah. I want them full. I really don't want that second quesadilla or uh, sloppy joe. I just need somewhere to put the damn meat other than dump it over the side. <laughs> You ain't gonna eat that, I am. No, I'll eat it. I'll eat it for sure. I'm full. That's good. I bought that just for you, buddy, because I didn't think I'd eat that. That's good. We'll give this spot about 20, 25 minutes. We're getting the hell out of here. We'll just pull over here because we wanted to eat in peace. <laughs> It's rolling, it's a blue. Chad's on number six here. Tied it up. And he's got a pole going down over here. <laughs> yeah, I think there's fish playing. He's pulling on. There's a blue, I can feel him turning. Oh, yeah. Fun size. Fun size. We can tell you uh, what not to do is when you're at a spot and you've caught five fish in an hour, don't leave and go to other spots. <laughs> we went to like four other spots and never caught a fish. Come back to this same spot and we've caught our sixth one here. So Looks like a man would have known that, don't it? That's pretty blue. You got another bite there too. Good. Maybe they're going to pick up right here at dark. That's the biggest thing of the day. He tied it up. We've caught three apiece, but all his have been the big ones. All mine's been the little ones. <laughs> Hold it up in that sunlight like yeah, crossways. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Old Tennessee blue cap. Good job, Chad. Thanks, Chris. Getting a lot of slack in it. Chad's on number channel seven. Cat. Look, a <laughs> channel cat. Oh, no way. Me. Really? Didn't think there's no channel cats in here. <laughs> Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> That's what I catch at the Cumberland River all the time right there. And that ain't even a good one. <laughs> That's a nice eating size fish. Yeah. Just can't eat them out of here. <laughs> Lord have mercy. That's a good fish. Channel cat. Our channel cat. All right. Don't tell me that's how we're going to end this day. <laughs> hey, that did put me in the lead, though. A dink in the lead.